Greetings mates, welcome to another episode of Pirates 365. Today we take a look at deleted scenes of material from Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. When the film was released on DVD, there were 19 alternate and deleted scenes included. Although some of them were not particularly long, they each added a nice touch to different scenes throughout the film. Towards the beginning of the film, there was a deleted scene called Carriage Ride, where Governor Swan and Elizabeth rode toward the fort at Port Royal. This scene is a nice further introduction into the relationship between Governor Swan and Elizabeth. After all, it's only through his efforts that Port Royal has become at all civilized. Hmm? I also particularly like the end of the scene because the man and his surroundings remind me a lot of the ride. The next scene I would like to highlight shows more dialogue between Jack and Will and introduces Jack saying, waiting for the opportune moment, and it shows more of his character's motivations. Why bother with that? You could have escaped if you'd killed me before, but you weren't willing to use it. Are you advising me that was a mistake? When you've only got one shot, it's best to wait for the opportune moment. That wasn't it. Nor is this. I do agree with why the scene was deleted, because it really does interrupt the flow of the film overall. Another deleted scene I'd like to highlight is the scene entitled All Is Well. This is one of the first deleted scenes showcasing material from the ride. It shows the mayor being dunked into the well with the men lined up behind him. Although this scene was removed from the first film, it was reinserted as footage into Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, when Jack, Gibbs, and the crew of the Black Pearl returned to Tortuga. Moving on to one of my favorite deleted scenes is the interaction between Jack and the crew of the Black Pearl. After Jack says, the French, he goes on about how they invented mayonnaise, and there's a little back and forth between Pintel and Jack. Down to the depths, whatever mutton they thought of parlay. French. Latin based, of course. Inventors of mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. Shame about the French, really. Obsessed with raisins. Humiliated grapes, really. Think about it. Don't know. Terrific singers, the French. Whew. Eunuchs, all of them. That's not right. I used to think a eunuch. I'll get me coat. This scene, again, wouldn't have added much to the story, but it provides more light humor between our characters. Although there were many deleted scenes for the film included in the home video release, there were some that never made it to the list of 19 scenes. One scene of note was when Elizabeth was forced to walk off the plank of the Black Pearl. After she falls into the water, she's surrounded by sharks. Not much is known further about the scene, but if I remember correctly, Jack rescues her from the sharks. If you know more about the scene, please let me know in the comments below. Another scene featured in the trailer for the film, but was deleted. I'm still unsure as to the context of the scene, and why Jack was saying these things to Barbosa and his crew. You're not facing normal pirates. <laughs> Cruel, demented, vicious pirates, to be certain. Say goodbye! Goodbye. Bust. Cruel, demented, vicious pirates who cannot be killed. I believe that Jack is saying this rhetorically as if he were speaking to Norrington and his men, or it is possible that Johnny Depp recorded these lines for the trailer and they used it with another scene where Jack and Barbosa's crew are in the caves of Nila de Muerta. So I hope one day we get to see the context of the scene, why that was deleted, and what purpose it had in the film. Let me know in the comments below about what you thought went on in this scene. Thanks for watching this episode, mates. If you have a favorite deleted scene from The Curse of the Black Pearl, you can also let me know in the comments as well. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video, and remember, dead men tell no tales, Tom meets.